is that uh, do, do your actions matter? The Bible says those who are unrighteous in their actions will not inherit the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10. It's not enough to change your belief. You need to change your behavior. It's not enough for Jesus to be your Savior. He needs to be your Lord. There is no saviorhood without lordship. Jesus is not the Savior of anyone unless they have made him uh, their, his, their Lord. The Bible says he is the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Jello shots? Did Jesus drink jello shots? Oh, it matters, all right, it matters. Did Jesus ever do a keg stand? Did Jesus ever do a beer funnel? Oh, it matters, it matters. I will grant that Jesus may have sipped a little wine at a wedding. But Jesus never got intoxicated because he only did the will of the Father. And the Bible says, be not drunk on wine. Jesus was not a drunkard. He never got drunk because the Bible says he is sinless. And getting drunk is a sin. But you frat boys are not sipping wine at your frat parties. You're doing jello shots. You're doing keg stands. You're doing beer funnels. So don't justify your drunken debauchery with the fact that Jesus might have sipped a little wine. See, that is a logical fallacy to justify your drunken debauchery with the fact Jesus turned water into wine. That's a logical fallacy. Uh, what do you mean by responsibly? I don't get Yes, this is what the University of Iowa will do to you. I'll get to that in a minute, but he had a question. What if he drinks responsibly? Uh, I drink responsibly. I drink Coca-Cola, water, Gatorade. You know, that's, that's res I'm being responsible with what I consume. I'm being responsible with what I, uh, you know, take into my stomach. You ought to drink responsibly. That's why you shouldn't drink intoxicating drink. Or at least not drink it to the point of intoxication. But if you're getting buzzed, or tipsy, or wasted, or smashed, then you're sinning and you're not drinking responsibly. Uh, well, you asked about pot smoking first. Okay, well, the Bible says not to smoke marijuana. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. The, Bi the Bible says not to eat the magic mushrooms. Yes, it does. The, the Bible says not to take pills of ecstasy. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does. It does. Now, it, it does not say that in, in name, but in principle, it does. In principle, not in name. Uh, the Bible says, be sober-minded. That means you're not supposed to get dazed and confused on marijuana. You're not supposed to be all sexually aroused on ecstasy. And you're, you're not supposed to get wet on PCP or cranked out on crack. 
Yeah, I do a lot of my best work on The Bible says be sober-minded. Because when you think right, you're more likely to live right. And God gave us an intelligence so we could make good moral judgments to make good moral decisions. So God says be sober-minded. Uh, well, he hopefully repented. I used, I used to be a drunkard. I used to be a pothead. I used to be on my way to hell. But then I repented of my sin, gave my life to Jesus Christ. Now I'm a new man, new person. That's the grace of God in my life. That's the power of Jesus. He can turn sinners into saints. What's wrong with abortionists? If you have to ask, you're a wicked woman. If you have to ask, what's wrong with killing babies? Have you ever tried to push a football out of your vagina? Until you have to, I don't feel like you can say that it's not good. Hey, if you don't want to get pregnant, don't have sex. That's easy for you to say. You don't get pregnant. My wife, my wife did a noble thing. She had, she had an 18-hour natural back labor. That's pretty noble to me. That's very admirable, admirable. I, I uh, admire that. Uh, she did not sacrifice our baby on the altar of convenience like you're promoting. I was just simply questioning. I'm not saying that I have sex or have abortions. Good. Because you know what's worse than being a promiscuous whore? Do you know what's worse than that? Uh, being a, a baby-killing murderer. That's worse. That's worse. It's not enough that many of these college girls want to have sex outside of marriage. But they want sex without responsibility. So if they get pregnant, they go to Dr. Killer and they rip the baby out of the matrix. Well, that doesn't make the baby evil. Doesn't mean the baby should be punished for the sin of the father. If a woman gets raped by an evil man, that child is still innocent and deserves to live. That child does not deserve to die. Now, you can publicly execute the rapist. I'm in favor of that. Okay. But you should not publicly or privately execute the innocent baby. Uh, at least get a good thing out of a bad situation. <laughs> Getting raped is a bad situation. But bringing an innocent baby into this world is a good thing. As opposed to killing it. And... Uh, you should raise that child as your own uh, because it is your own. Came from your ovaries. Came from your egg. It is your own. Uh, I, I praise God that your parents were heterosexuals that were pro-life. We are all the product of heterosexual sex. We are all the product of pro-life.